the world right now. One child is working hard, one child is dreaming of attending school, and one child would most of all want to quit. A six-year-old boy in Afghanistan grows vegetables in an overgrown field, like his past generations and the ones to come. At the same time, a ten-year-old girl in Bangladesh sews pieces of cloth together in a scabby old factory with her mom from nine to seven. Meanwhile, a three-year-old girl and her sister wanders around the streets of Delhi, searching for a comfort place to sleep. There are too many countries that ignore to fight education for their children. We can see this in statistics. All infants and minors around the world deserve and a clear future and should by law get a qualified education. Yet half of the world's education uh, population is at a disadvantage. It should not make any difference where you're born, if you're rich, if you're poor, or if you're a boy or a girl. Every child should have the right to go to school. Education is a human right according to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. This declaration was written by representatives from 50 countries after World War II. It presents the fundamental principles that all countries should strive for. This important and valuable document also states that boys and girls should be treated equally. According to you, Marie and Patrick Quinn, that after all these years, girls and boys continue to be treated differently in terms of education. Parents often place more value on their son's education than on their daughter's. We can see results of these inequalities in global statistics. Of the 16% of the world's population who are unable to read or write a simple statement, almost two out of three are female. How would you feel if there were laws written about treating everyone equally and attending school was a human right? Or how would you feel if nobody cared about you because you're just a little creature in a small village in Africa, so it does not matter? We have to follow the principles of human rights treating everybody equally and letting all children around the world attend school. We can do this to make our world like the peaceful cherry blossom in early spring. Or isn't that what we want our children and the generation to come to grow up in? Violated human rights is not the only issue. Leaving more than half of the world behind, not educated, has serious consequences that will leave us in a vicious circle. As a result, and we keep passing down from generation to generation with the belief that it is more important for a male to get educated than a female, especially in poor countries, where child labor is an economy necessity for many families. Girls are more likely to be denied an education and forced into labor. This limiting any chance of their own rise out of poverty. If girls have <coughs> basic education, it is the risk that they engage in child labor at an early age, which may lead them to a future of poverty. Research has shown for years that educating girls is one of the most effective way of tackling poverty. Yet, we're not fixing this. Even though educated girls are more likely to earn more as adults, marry later in life, have fewer and healthier children, and one have decision-making power within the household. We do not have time to let this wheel gain momentum as it speeds any further, further down the overgrown hill. There is one way we can easily tackle poverty, by educating our daughters, so that they grow up as educated mothers, then it is more likely to ensure that their own children are educated, thereby de decreasing the speed of the wheel. If we look at our situation now and look into the future, we all know that we need to do something, and that all the world should get a qualified education and, by fu and future by following the human rights. Using all human resources uh, is an effective way to develop our world. In honor of Nelson Mandela, he once said, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. We, can, we all want a bright future, don't we? But what are we working so hard for? The boy in Afghanistan deserves a qualified education, which will lead him to a bright and a clear future, as well as the 10-year-old girl in Bangladesh. Some of us would rather stay home watching TV all day instead of going to school, while some people could only dream of attending school. We should appreciate what we get, that we get educated and not just take it for granted.